Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy and today is a cheat sheet for Instagram sizing. In this video, I'm going to cover all the recommended dimensions for Instagram's main feed, Instagram stories, and Instagram TV. The cheat sheet is free. You do not have to leave your email address. Just click on the link in the description and it will automatically download for you. And one note on the sizes. Instagram does not say you must use these sizes. They give general guidelines. They give the aspect ratios that are recommended. These are the sizes that I use. They work and I hope they can work for you or help you out. So the left side of the cheat sheet is for the main feed of Instagram. You have three different size options that you can use. You can upload a square, a horizontal, or a vertical video or photo to the main feed of Instagram. And on the right side, that's for Instagram stories and Instagram TV. And they both take the same size vertical. The first thing I want you to be aware of, I keep these really simple. I use the same width for everything. 1080 pixels is the starting point. The next thing I want you to be aware of and understand is aspect ratio. Aspect ratio is simply width to height. So the first number is always referencing the width and the second number is always referencing the height. So a square, 1080 by 1080, the aspect ratio is one to one because the width is the exact same as the height. And then if you look at the vertical, let's look at Instagram stories has a nine by 16. So it's almost twice as tall as it is wide. That makes sense since it's 1080 by 1920. So now you have an overview of the dimensions and the aspect ratio from the cheat sheet. Let's open up Instagram and I'll show you exactly how they all look. So here I am in Instagram. I'm gonna tap on the plus at the bottom so I can access my camera roll. I'll start with the square. 1080 by 1080 is the size that I use, the one to one aspect ratio. This is gonna fill up the entire space of your Instagram post main feed. Next, we'll look at the horizontal, that 1080 by 566. That has the 191 to one aspect ratio. It looks the same right here as the square. That's because you need to tap on those little arrows to the bottom left there so you can see the entire size. So now you can see it here, that's the horizontal. And the last size that you can do for Instagram's main feed is that vertical four by five aspect ratio. 1080 by 1350 is the size that I use. And as you can see, it's got those white strips on the side. It fills up most of the space, so it looks pretty good. And if you don't mind cutting a little bit off the top and the bottom, you can always go full screen by pressing on those little arrows in the bottom left. Moving on, let's go into Instagram stories. I'm gonna swipe right, and then I'm gonna swipe down to access my camera roll. The correct size for Instagram stories is 1080 pixels wide by 1920 pixels tall. So it's a vertical format. A nine by 16 aspect ratio is what you wanna upload for Instagram stories. Last, let's jump into IGTV and I'll show you how to upload over there. So I'm gonna X out of stories. I'm gonna go back to the main feed and click on the IGTV icon in the upper right. I'm gonna click on my profile there. And I'm gonna click the little plus to access my camera roll. For IGTV, you need to upload a video that's at least 15 seconds long and a maximum of 10 minutes long, okay? So here's a 15 second video that I created, the same size as Instagram stories, 1080 pixels by 1920 pixels. It's a nine by 16 aspect ratio. You wanna keep the important stuff off the edges and off the bottom so they don't risk getting cut off. So those are the dimensions that you can use for uploading photos and videos to Instagram's main feed, Instagram stories, and Instagram TV. If you want a copy of the cheat sheet, there's a link below in the description. You can download it for free. My name is Mike Murphy, cheers.